the scent of Sophronia. This takes me back. Takes you back? You mean you know what this is? Yes, of course. Sophronia trees used to grow in the world that I came from, you see. Huh? For real? So that's where Sophronia trees come from. Who'd have guessed? That's not all. What you call the Orion Mountains came from my world, too. Whoa, seriously? I always thought they were funny-shaped mountains. I mean, now they're mountains. Back then, they weren't so picturesque. Are there more places like this? Stuff that we don't know the true origin of? Actually, yes. In fact, I dare say, pretty much everywhere you've seen till now. Makes sense. If you hadn't been here, we'd have just walked right past like it was no big thing. I suppose it's good for you all to know about how things were in the old world. Well, now you've got all this new perspective, why not have a look back at the path you already traced? Looking back at where we came from? That could be a really valuable experience. Yes. Please, give it some thought. The path that you're on now will lead you to the future that you've dreamed of. Those empty ruins. <sighs> Nia? Everything all right? This place you call Mac the Wildwood. Do you know anything about all the ruins and things scattered around here? No, to tell the truth. I never paint them any mind, I guess. But now you mention them, they do seem pretty weird. Oh. Hey, is this also related to stuff from your old world, Mia? That's a good guess, Senna. Not quite right, but you aren't far off. Please, explain. All right, I will. This is probably something you ought to know about. I told you before about Ionios's creation, right? Well, what I'm about to talk about goes back much further into the past than that. You mean, when the worlds were one? The people of that time had access to absolute power using it to create and enjoy a flourishing civilization. But in the end, they started to fight each other for control over that very power. And because of that, the power became a calamity and ripped the world in two. What we're looking at now is the remnants of the destruction that humanity has wrought. So the true meaning of all this ruin is to stand as a monument to the history that created this world. If you really think about it, we human beings are the cause of all of it. I don't get it. Why fight till everything burns? The answer is because they were afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid of ending. All life, all civilizations and cultures, everything comes to an end in time. Of course, humans are part of the world too. We can't escape that rule either. But people never stop looking for a way, even if it means going beyond the rules. Eternity. 
That's what they were searching for. Eternity. If the present moment carries on forever, then the end will never come. That's eternity. With that, the miserable decay that you're looking at now would never come to pass. I think you probably all know the rest of the story already. Why this world that we're in now is called Ionios, the realm of eternity. Zed also wants eternity, just as the people did back then. But, I mean, even though they were longing for eternity, to sacrifice so many lives to achieve it, it's not... it can't be right. I agree. We might get hurt, and someday we'll be gone. But we have to keep moving forward in spite of all that. That's what it means to live, right, Nia? Yes, exactly right. That must be clear to you all now. You should hold on to that vision of life. Cherish it as you go forward. Keep that in your heart so that you never repeat the mistakes of the past. Haven't been here for a while. I can't wait to see the look on Gondor's face when she sees you. Gondor. Ah, oh, what do you plonkers want now? Hey, come on. Don't be like that. We're just here to say hi. Huh? What's that? You got time on your hands, have you? Huh? Why? If it isn't... I believe this is the first time we speak directly, isn't it, Gondor? Can someone tell me what the hell's going on? What's the Queen of Agnes doing here? Oh, uh, hang on. I suppose we are in Agnes Castle right now. So, maybe it's not so weird to see you here. But what I don't get is... Why does the Queen of Agnes seem to know about me? That's... Well, it's a long story. The Vandam name and those that bear it have a deep meaning for me. You mean my family? In the past, I... We were saved by a man called Vandam. He taught us a lot about life and what it was we were called to do. It's no exaggeration to say that without him, there would be no me. Huh? A real deep connection between Nia and Gondor's fam? Spooky. The memories of it are all but lost now. These were events of the distant past. Oh, ho. Oh. Uh, more to the point, seems you dags have gotten pretty used to chumming up with royalty. Like it's no big thing. Well, Nia asked us to treat her that way. Like another one of the gang. Come on, Gondor. Surely you more than anyone wouldn't expect us to mince our words around Nia. Wind your neck in, will ya? Nothing wrong with how I talk. <laughs> oh, you're so bold and unabashed. I simply adore it. Uh, oh, I uh, suppose I am. I mean... You've passed through the conflict with the False Queen, maintained order in the castle. There are a lot of things that came about because of your blood, sweat and tears, Gondor. Huh? Well, that's a real heck of a compliment. Too much for the likes of me, maybe, you match. All I reckon we really did was set a few boundaries to stop things going daft. I don't have a clue about your Agnian folks, though. 
You're just being humble, Gondor. Please, there's no need for it. It's not easy to earn people's trust, to maintain the balance. And you do all that while still remaining natural, unadulterated Gondor. Oi! I'm basically an adult. I'm almost... Ah, oh, forget it. Condor, you really soften up when you get a few kind words, don't you? Huh? Who are you calling soft? I hope Agnes can count on your continued support. I mean, what I'd really like to be saying right now is bite me. But since I've got a real deal queen going to all the trouble of asking me, I guess I've got to at least consider the request a bit. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, Gondor. As the nominal lady of Agnes Castle, I bestow upon you my sincere admiration for fulfilling the... Hey! Whoa! Enough already! It's like you want to make me squirm. Ah, there's our Gondor. Just shut up, will you? We're done talking about me, all right? You Ouroboros assholes, mind your own beeswax, all right? I better not hear you've been holding the queen back. You're a real goofy bunch, aren't you? Just being around your cans is a hazard. <sighs> Pot calling the kettle black much there, Gondor love. Your Majesty, there you are. Please, it's Nia. You aren't used to it yet, do you? Uh, I'm sorry, you're... Please forgive me, it's just... <laughs> it's fine. I may have taken my teasing a step too far, there. I hope what I'm about to say doesn't come out the wrong way, but... Yes? It's just... You're our queen! We believed you were the one that gave us all life, and that we'd return to you in the end. You were like this awesome being high above. None of us could even dream of talking to you. And now you're just traveling along with us and chatting like it's an everyday thing. It's just really bizarre to me somehow. Like, things have been switched around. It still feels a little strange. Could it be that it just hasn't sunk in yet? I see. <laughs> well, it's the same for me. Wh what? I'm sure I've told you this before, but please indulge me. While I was asleep in the Cloud Keep, I was getting information about what was happening in the world. So I knew long before that you were not M, but an independent being called Mio. But it was nothing more than information. I wanted to truly know you more than anyone else. But I couldn't touch you. Couldn't make contact. I felt so close to you. But you were still this distant, far-off thing. It was so frustrating. <sighs> but right now, you're so close, I can reach out and touch you, speak with you even. I never thought the day would come. It's a truly strange feeling. It's the same for me. Indeed. It's amazing, really, the way things worked out, don't you think? <sighs> for sure. If I hadn't become Ouroboros, I'd never have had the chance to meet you, Nia. Sometimes, a small pebble starts the avalanche which changes your whole future. Don't you think? No, I 
don't think you can put it all down to chance. Huh? What do you mean? I think we met because we were supposed to, Mio. It was meant to be. Because, to me, you're... Hey! Mio! Nia! We're heading out soon, guys. Get a move on or you'll get left behind. Okay, we're coming! Shall we go join the others? Sure. Let's do that. Mio? Yes? I'm really glad we got to talk like this. Yeah, me too. Nia. I've been craving some downtime. Let's have a little huddle up. Keep track of our progress. All right, on with our journey. I've been craving some downtime. I definitely feel stronger. Ugh. Where to from here?
so much to see, huh? Better put our backs into it, or else. Here's a tough customer. Look out! Careful, everyone! What, what, what are they doing there? Don't mind if I do. How are we meant to fight that? Look out! Careful, everyone! Such a blue sky. Though the world changes, no matter what form it may take, the sky up there, it stays the same. <sighs> Thank you. I'm grateful to all of you. It's kind of you to indulge me like this. No, it's fine. Don't forget, asking you along was our idea. I'm pleased you all became Ouroboros. I'm glad that you did. N Neo, what's gotten into you? Why are you saying this now? When this battle is over, the stationary worlds will move once again. When the worlds were divided, they knew nothing of each other. In the end, they'll be strangers once again. Perfectly ignorant. As will we. Even so, I wanted to make a memory. The day when we part for good, it's coming. But still, I wanted us to share this moment. I wanted to feel that special connection, those ties that bind us together. Not just as your queen, but also as your friend. Nia. So just... Thank you. In the end, it's up to you. My hope is invested in your future. You must defeat Zed and make a better world with your own hands. Hey, that's not quite right. Huh? That better world. You'll be building it together with us, Nia. Y you mean... I mean, even if we do get separated, someday we'll see each other again. We want you with us, Nia, in that future. How could we not? We need you. Rather, please stay. Because the connection we share, Nia, that's something that can never be broken. Mio.
I mean, if that's the future that you want. N no, let me try that again. That future, I'll share it with you. It's not just yours. It's our future we'll invest in. For that, we need this world to end. Until that time. Yeah. We'll be by your side until then, Nia. Keep this up. 